Board members are an essential part and the biggest champions for any nonprofit, giving their time, expertise, and resources. In this video, I will show you how to track board participation and giving in Salesforce. The first item we will cover is how to track board member participation, including roles, start and end dates, as well as board committee participation. The best way to track board and committee participation is through the organization affiliations object. To do this, create an organization account for your organization's board. I will label mine our nonprofit board and press save. Now for each board member, go to their contact records, scroll down to their organization affiliations related list and select new. The organizations field select the new board account that you just created. Add the member role and in the status field select whether the board member is a current or former board member and then add their board membership start at end dates whenever applicable. I also recommend that you set this affiliation as their primary affiliation so that it shows up on their uh, contact page and press save. After you have done this for each board member, you will be able to run a report of all board members ever affiliated with your board or all current board members. You can do this by creating a new report on the Reports tab and selecting the report type Accounts with Affiliations and Contacts. After selecting the columns that you want to appear in your report, you will be able to go to Filters, ensure that you're looking at all accounts, not just my accounts, and filter by account name, and set that equal to your board account name and press apply. This will give you a list of all the board member affiliations that you have in your system, including current and former. You can further, you can further filter this list to current board members by filtering for the status field and set it to current and press apply. You can then save and run this report as the current board member report and press save. For tracking board committees, you will follow a similar process. For each committee, create a new organization account and label it with the committee name. And ensure that the parent account at the very bottom is set to the board account. And press save. You want to repeat this process for all the committees on your board. Now that I have both my committees set up in Salesforce, I will now be able to add the organization affiliations similarly to the board member membership to each of my contacts that are currently on this committee. So for example, I know that Frank Cooper is in the governance committee. So I will add a new organization affiliation for Frank Cooper on the governance committee and press save. If you track board members in Salesforce differently, please share them in the comments below so we can all learn from each other as there's more than one way to do things in Salesforce. Next, let's discuss how to track board member donations in Salesforce. The best way to do this is through campaigns, since campaigns are already set up to track groups of donations and donors. We can start by creating a parent campaign called Annual Board Giving, and set this to a fundraising campaign, which is in progress state, and mark it as active, and press save. I am now going to go back to the campaigns tab and create a new campaign for last year's annual board giving 
and label it Annual Board Giving 2018. Mark it as completed and set the parent campaign to Annual Board Giving and press Save. Similarly, I will create another campaign for the 2019 board giving, which is going to be an ongoing active campaign, and set that parent campaign also to annual board giving, and set it to active and press save. Now when I go to record board member donations, I will simply add the appropriate year's campaign as the primary campaign source. To show you an example, I'm going to go to Frank Cooper's record, who is a current board member, add a new donation that he recently submitted, set the close date, the stage, the amount, and enter the campaign as the annual board giving 2019 campaign and press save. Once I have recorded all the donations for the two campaigns, I will be easily able to see the total amount raised by year as well as by the parent campaign annual board, and board giving. For example, to see how much was raised in the annual campaign for 2018, I can click on that campaign, go to the details, and scroll down to see how much was raised for the 2018 board giving campaign. If I want to see aggregate data for board giving over multiple years, I can do this by clicking on the parent campaign, annual board giving, and review the campaign hierarchy. You can do this by clicking view all in the campaign hierarchy related list. And there you will be able to see how much was raised through the annual giving for, from the board for 2018 and 19 combined. If you do not see the hierarchy fields or the related list on your page, it may be because you need to modify the permissions for these fields and also modify your page layout to add these fields, as these fields are hidden for all profiles by default. If you have any additional questions on how to track board members in Salesforce, please leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you. If you found this video helpful, please give us a like and share it with a colleague or a friend. We upload a new video every week on the topic of Salesforce tips and tutorials, so consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video.